You were saying, Melissa, that BCI has sent eight students to university in this academic year? That's right, and we've been sending students to university for a number of years now. I imagine that this opportunity is something that the students would not have had without the sponsorship program. Not only that, their education at the BCI Academy has prepared them to study at the university level. I'm really curious what an Ethiopian university is like. Well, stay tuned and we'll take a look inside. During the fall, we were blessed to have an international missionary join us in Ethiopia who has roots in Ethiopia. Her name is Harut, and she reached out to us last summer with a special project in mind. Harut has a background in nutrition and wanted to combine her knowledge of nutrition with her passion for the children in Ethiopia. Harut's passion for children comes from her childhood. She grew up in a large family in Debrazi. As the oldest child, she helped her mother care for the children. Harut feels that children who are well-fed and feel loved can accomplish whatever they set their hearts on. During her time with the ministry, Harut monitored the children and gave nutrition advice to the mothers. She went on home visits and spoke with the mothers, learned their needs, and provided materials accordingly. Harut also worked with our kitchen staff to improve the nutrition of our school meals. In fact, one of the biggest impacts she made was by helping the school begin utilizing composting. There is a lot of value in the organic waste, and it was an educational opportunity for the students as well. Harut also worked with local fishermen to make arrangements for fresh fish to be brought to the students at the BCI Academy. Harut stated that her time in the ministry raised her faith in God. We would like to share her full testimony with you. We will link it in the description box below. I know that some university campuses in the United States can be quite unique. Some have been around for over 100 years and have beautiful architecture. Newer buildings have impressive technology. I'm curious what a university looks like in Ethiopia. One of our university freshmen, Sisai, sent us some photos to show us his school. Let's take a look inside. Wow, okay. I'm not even certain what subject this is. Some kind of math, maybe? I don't know, but it looks like he's learning complicated things already as a freshman. One of the differences you'll notice between universities in the U.S. is the style of seating is more like a bench in Ethiopia. It reminds me a lot of the seating that the children are accustomed to at the BCI Academy. It's very similar. Each bench just seats more students. You know, the classroom size seems fairly comparable to university classroom in the U.S. The seating seems a bit more condensed, but yes, this would not be an uncommon size. Okay, we must be inside his dorm room now? Yes, Seaside shares a dorm with three people. There are two sets of bunk beds. Here, we can see a better view of a dorm room. This is our university students, Adana and Bemnet, when they moved into their dorm in the fall. You know, it's funny because this is a university, but I have to say, the quality of the BCI Academy is nicer. Well, that wouldn't be possible without donor support. The support we receive from donors makes it possible for us to provide a high quality learning environment that, like you say, is a higher quality than some universities even. The United Nations offers special days of observance throughout the year to honor various causes. One such cause is Universal Children's Day, which falls on November 20th each year. The purpose of Universal Children's Day is to promote the ideals of the United Nations for protecting the rights of children and promoting their general welfare. The BCI Academy celebrates Universal Children's Day with poems, songs, and dramas presented by the students. The students met in the cafeteria for the festivities. The idea behind the day is to focus on the real needs of the children and to promote causes and programs that benefit and enhance the lives of the children. Well, I think it's fitting that our students would celebrate such a day. Absolutely. Yepsira Kiros is a seven-year-old girl who lives with her mother, Sai, and her father, Kiros. Yepsira's mother worked as a cleaner for the Air Force, where she met her first husband, a health officer for the Air Force. After five months of marriage, Sai became pregnant. Her husband didn't tell her that he had a chronic illness. And after the birth of her children, Sai discovered that she had the chronic illness herself. Sai gave up on life at that time. She lost her child and her husband. After some time, she met Kiros, and both of them had given up on life, but decided to help each other. They married and had a baby they named Yepsira. Yepsira is a sweet and beautiful little girl. Her parents have struggled to support her by working as daily laborers but now it's too difficult to work at all. Kiros can't even walk some days due to his severe diabetes. 
He also suffers from high blood pressure and takes many medications. Tsai is frequently sick due to her chronic illness. Kairos and Tsai have been unable to work for the past year. They've been begging their church for food. They are unable to purchase notebooks, pens, pencils for Yebzira, and they live in a one-room home. The only reason they have a home at all is that they serve as guards for a larger home and the owner is currently living in America. By guarding the house, they're able to stay in the guard shack, which is located on the premises. They don't have a bed, chair, or table. All they have is one futon, cooking materials, and they use stones as a chair. In the future, Yipsira wants to be a doctor and help her family. She loves the color pink and enjoys playing hide-and-go-seek, especially with her two-and-a-half-year-old cousin. Yipsira has been blessed to receive sponsorship for $30 a month, but the cost of a full sponsorship for a child in Ethiopia is $90 a month. If you'd like to complete Yipsira's sponsorship, please reach out to us. You can visit our website and donate via PayPal. You can mail in your first sponsorship payment to get started, or you can call 1-888-269-2719. We have a nine-year-old boy in our sponsorship program who suffered from rickets as a baby. Rickets is a skeletal disorder that results in soft and weak bones. It also causes poor growth, muscle spasms, dental problems, and susceptibility to fracture. In the United States, rickets is classified as a rare disease. It is much more common in impoverished third world countries such as Ethiopia. Rickets is typically caused by vitamin D and calcium deficiencies. A mother with these deficiencies will be unable to protect her child from them when she's nursing. Abel lives with his twin sister and his mother. He is disabled, and as a result of the rickets, he is unable to get around well. He's getting too big to be carried by his mother, and he, this has further limited his mobility. Shortly before Christmas, a generous donor reached out and offered to purchase a wheelchair for Abel. What a blessing the new wheelchair will be for Abel and his mother. So, Jolie, why did the donkey cross the road? I don't know, Mel, to get to the other side? I have no idea, but donkeys in the road are just one of the hazards faced by drivers in Ethiopia. Let me guess, you'll tell us about it in the next episode? You got it! In the meantime, visit our website and social media that we've linked in the description box below. Like and subscribe, leave comments and questions. Have a blessed day.